In the AFNI tutorial on first level analysis, we learned how to create a general linear model to estimate the bold response to each condition in our experiment. We will be doing the same thing here, extracting the relevant motion compound regressors from the TSV file generated by fMRI prep. fMRI prep creates a confound file for each run. For example, the confound regressor file for run 1 is called subaway task flanker run 1 des confounds regressors.tsv. If you open this file in a spreadsheet program such as Excel, you will see the following. You can see that the file contains many confounds and you probably won't use all of them. If we wanted to replicate our AFNI analysis as closely as possible, however, we will need to find the motion regressors in the x, y, and z directions, which can be found here near the end of the spreadsheet under trans x, trans y, and trans z, along with the rotations. There are several other regressors you could include, such as global signal, frame loss displacement, and different component time series. Which ones to include are up to you. In any case, remember to use these regressors with AVNI's stim files option, which will not convolve the time series with the basis function, such as the HRF. Before we can run the first level analysis, we will need to convert the timing files. The steps for doing this are in the link down below. And what you need to do is go to this GitHub page, click on make timings, click on raw, right click, and then save this file into the flanker directory. Once you've done that, go back to your terminal, navigate to the flanker directory by using the cd command, and then type the following, bash make underscore timings. This will store the converted timing files for each subject in the func directory, which you can see by using the ls command within the congruent and incongruent.1d files. When you've generated the timings, navigate to the fMRI prep output directory for subawait in the derivatives folder and type the following, make your stimuli, and then copy those 1D files into the stimuli directory. Before we can insert our confound regressors into the general linear model, we will need to do a few steps in Unix to format them correctly. AFNI expects a separate regressor file for each run with later runs containing a string of zeros equal to the number of volumes in the previous run. For example, if we had two runs with 146 volumes each, the second regressor file should have 146 zeros before the first confound regressor in the file. This Unix code is a for loop that will loop over each of those regressor files, translations and rotations in the XYZ directories and then use awk to format them in a single column file. You don't need to understand the awk code for now, but just know that the result of this will be files that contain both the header and also just the file without the header. We will then create a string of zeros equal to the number of volumes in the previous run. In this block of code, we put in the variable nt the number of time points for the R1 scale image. This is the number of volumes in the first run before we start the second run. And then we use a for loop to create a one column of zeros. If you see this, it's simply 146 zeros in a single column. Now we concatenate these two files using the cat command so that we create files in a format that can be read by AFNI. This for loop again loops over all the different regressors and then concatenates those with the zeros file we just created if it is run to. Now we have all the ingredients we need to run the first level analysis. Timing files, pre-processed functional data, and a mask. To run this through 3DD Convolve, go to this GitHub page and then click on dodecon.sh. Click on raw, and then right click anywhere, click save as, and save this file into the derivatives fMRI prep sub await func directory. Once you've done that, open up a terminal and type tcsh dodecon.sh 
and then the subject number, which is sub-08. When it finishes, you can open the stats file in the AFNI viewer and overlay it on the template MNI152-2009 template. We can then set up our viewing of the analysis by doing things like only selecting the positive voxels, changing the contrast to incongruent minus congruent, changing the color scale to red to blue, and the threshold to P equals 0 0.001. In addition, we can use clusterize to only show those voxels in clusters of 40 or more. I'm doing a few extra things here, such as changing the resampling mode to make the clusters look a little bit less edgy. And then, if we go to the report interface, we can see exactly where and how big that cluster in the MPFC is. In this case, it's located down around here, and we can jump to the center of it. If we compare this to our previous results with AFNI, with the previous results on the right and the fMRI prep results on the left, you can see that the AFNI results appears to be a slightly larger cluster, but with a slightly lower peak. To fully compare the results between the pipelines, we will have to run fMRI prep for all the subjects, which we will cover in our scripting module in the next video.